What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at cloning data from our mechanical drive over to a solid state drive now if you're not using a solid state drive in 2018 then you need to go out and get yourself one because they are super fast you don't need to go for the super high end stuff just a, a cheap affordable solid state drive that's reliable and you will see a massive improvement uh, on your computer now a lot of people talk about uh, optimization and tweaks and stuff like that and one of the quickest and fastest ways of making your computer a lot faster is by adding a solid state drive so what we're going to do is take a look at how we can create some bootable media with a Cronus and then that will be used to create our clone of our old mechanical drive and move that over to uh, our solid state drive so let me show you how it's all done so first off you're going to need to get yourself a flash drive this is the way i like doing it it's a lot easier this way and it means that i can use a cronus bootable media on any computer that i want to so if you if you if you're a pc repair tech and you do this stuff all the time then this is probably the best way of doing it if you're a home user then you may want to install cronus on the system and do it that way it's it's just uh, entirely up to you okay but i'm going to be doing it the boot, bootable media way i find it a lot easier so you can see I've got a, an empty uh, flash drive here. Now this is a SanDisk which you can pick up for a, a couple of pounds on Amazon. They're very cheap and affordable and they're very useful. This is a 32 gigabyte one. So let's get started here. So what I want to do is open up a Cronus. Now if you've not used a Cronus before, it's super simple and uh, it's probably one of the best um, backup solutions uh, for your computer and uh, this is uh, just because I've just upgraded this is a Cronus True Image 2019 I did a giveaway on this not so long ago and uh, I give away five licenses so if you missed that one stay tuned because you may uh, be able to win uh, some more software like this in the near future so let me uh, accept their terms and conditions I don't want to participate in their experience program but you can do if you wish and I'm going to click OK here and this will open up a Cronus True Image 2019. So here we have our uh, tools panel here, which is uh, on the program itself. This is your backup. It's very simple and easy to do. And uh, archive, sync, tools, active protection. And I did do uh, a review on this. So if you want to see more on a Cronus, let me know in the comments section below on what you want to see with this software. And I'll do my best to make those videos for you so let's go ahead and click on the tools tab and you can see here rescue media builder now this is a really awesome uh, way of creating bootable media because it means you can just boot up to any computer and uh, make backups or clone drives or whatever it is you want to do it's the full blown software on a bootable media now you've got two choices here you've got simple and advanced is it up to you which way you want to go about this if you want simplicity just click on the uh, simple and it will do it for you and it will automatically suit to this computer which is best if you want to do that but if you want to go advanced click on advanced and it will give you some options so we'll go through the advanced bit and you can see here windows pe based media or you can do the linux based media that is entirely up to you which way you want to go I'm just going to go for the Windows base one and you can see here architecture 32 bit or 64 bit and uh, I'm going to go for the 64 bit. You can see here toolkit and you can have this in your Windows recovery environment recommended for computer media uh, creating media for this computer. Now if you're going to be using this on different types of computers at all times then I wouldn't do this method. So I'm going to do the Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and 10. Click on this. And you can see here you can add drivers for better compatibility this is what you can do here you can add your drivers in and your folder so if you've got uh, drivers that you want to add you can add them in through here so we're going to go next here and you can see we've got a cronus usb that's the one i want to do here and what i want to do is click on proceed it's selected my acronis e drive which is the one i created which is blank click proceed and it will then start to uh, mount the .wim file and create our bootable media now this is a windows based version you can do a linux version as well and you can use that on uh, windows based machines as well 
OK, so that is the media created successfully. And you can see here it basically tells you what to do. Connect the uh, rescue media to your computer and then you can arrange order in your BIOS to boot to that device. And uh, I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let's click close here and we can close off Acronis because we've now completed our USB flash drive. You can see it right here. And it'll have a bunch of folders inside here and files which we need to create our backup. So let's go ahead and uh, put this into the computer. So this is inside the computer. You can see the mechanical drive in there and it's a working drive. And uh, if I wanted to upgrade to a solid state drive, SSD, all I'd need to do is install the SSD into the computer and then clone that across and then dismantle the mechanical drive and boot to the solid state drive and then I can wipe that um, mechanical drive and use that as a storage drive or I can use an adapter which I'm going to use to clone the drive to that and I could install it afterwards if I wanted to or put it into another new computer especially if this is an old computer and I'm upgrading to a new computer but I want to copy all the data across now I'm going to be using an adapter like this which is basically a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive uh, SSD to USB 3.0. Now if you're just upgrading the computer's hard drive to a solid state drive then you can install that solid state drive into the computer and just clone it across and uh, then disconnect uh, the other one if you want to or use it as storage. Now I'm going to be using this SP SSD which is 15 times faster than a 5400 revs per minute mechanical drive. It has 560 uh, megabytes per second uh, reads and also uh, 530 megabytes per second writes which isn't too bad and comes with a three year warranty and for this old machine it's going to be okay but if you want to use something like Samsung or a much uh, bigger branded uh, SSD you can do it's entirely up to you but this one's being sold so I'm not really going to put that much money into the system itself but it's just going to be a big upgrade and uh, these are pretty affordable I'll leave the link in the video description for you so let's go ahead and uh, put our adapter into our solid state drive here. Now it can only go in one way as you can see here and uh, just basically clip this into position like so. And then from there what I need to do is plug in the USB part into our computer and I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do here is plug the USB part into one of the fastest ports on the computer which is our USB 3.0 port. Plug that into there. And you can see I have now a long piece of cable with a solid state drive on the end. I'm just going to rest that on the computer desk. And now I'm going to plug in the Acronis into the port next to it. And now what I need to do now is uh, restart the computer and boot into our uh, boot menu so we can change the boot order to boot to our USB flash drive which has got our Acronis on there. So let the system reboot itself and you will need to be quick here to tap the key to change the boot order in your boot menu. So you'll see it splash up on the screen very quickly. I'll try and pause it a little bit so you can see it. In my case it's F10, yours may be uh, F11, F12, F2, could be loads of different keys. But you can see there boot menu is F10 for me so I'm going to tap F10 this will take me into my boot menu. You can do this in the BIOS itself. So I'm going to select my USB SanDisk uh, bootloader for the UEFI and you can see now straight away it's booted to our USB flash drive and Acronis is now started to load up. So you can see we've got a backup and recovery and if I go down to the tools section uh, up the top here and to get a bigger text here I can use the sidebar which does have some uh, bigger text in there so I'm going to click on this one so let's click on tools and utilities here and you can see we do have our clone disk feature right there where it says copy partitions from one disk to another and that's exactly what I want to do now you can see here choose a clone mode and I'm going to leave this in automatic and let Acronis deal with all of that so you can see it's saying here all the partitions from the source disk uh, will be copied uh, to your target disk in a few simple steps and uh, basically the drive that is copying it across will be made bootable as well which is nice and uh, all your existing partitions will be automatically uh, 
resized and uh, dealt with by Acronis. Now you can see here disk one is our source disk. So I'm gonna copy this, this is our mechanical drive and this is gonna be our disk which it's gonna copy the data from. So you can see it's serial ATA here. And uh, I need to copy this. Uh, so I'm gonna go over to the next feature here and click next. And uh, Cronus will take a little bit of time to analyze that disk. So I'll speed this process up a bit, but just be patient and let it do its thing here. But generally it doesn't take too long. Now, once we've got our uh, source disk done, uh, we want to uh, choose our destination disk. And you can see here, clone mode, source disk, and now we need to choose our destination. So our destination is going to be our SSD, which is our solid state disk here on a USB uh, adapter. So I'm gonna click next here. Now you won't have the adapter if you're gonna be plugging this into your computer. It will be fine. You don't have to use the adapter if you don't want to. It's entirely up to you which way you wanna do it. So what this will do now uh, is copy all that data across. Now, if you had, say for instance, uh, one terabyte and you was only using say uh, 128 gigabytes of that data and it had your windows on it and it was a mechanical drive, it would copy all that data across to uh, say a 256 solid state drive as well. So let's just go ahead and proceed here. So it doesn't matter whether the, the source disk is larger uh, than the destination, uh, it will, as long as there's enough space uh, to put all your data onto that drive, it will take care of all that for you. So just bear that in mind. So you can see here, a Cronus True image, the disk was successfully cloned. It now gives you a bunch of options here uh, to use the clone drive on your current hardware, turn off your computer and remove your source drive and then turn your computer back on with your uh, solid state drive in there and it should boot straight up and I'll show you how that works in a second. You can also use this uh, drive on a similar hardware and remove the clone drive and connect it to your new computer. That's what you can do as well and you can see there's other options on there available to you as well. So once we've finished here we can just close this off and remember we are in uh, a USB flash drive here, so this is the way I like to do it. If you are using this on your uh, daily driving computer, basically you can install this software on your computer and do it uh, via that method from the desktop if you want to, uh, if that's the way you want to do it. But PC Repair Techs will use this method all the time. It's very quick and easy, and uh, this is a quick and easy way to do things. So anyway, let's close all this off and uh, take a look at the uh, drive here. So now I've plugged in the solid state drive into the computer and disconnected the uh, mechanical drive from the computer. And now what we'll do is we'll boot up and you'll see the boot sp speed difference compared to uh, the mechanical drive. Mechanical drives are so slow and uh, it starts to take forever to boot up. And this is the actual boot up sequence with the solid state drive on an old system here. And you can see it's booting up very fast indeed. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can clone your data from a mechanical drive to a solid state drive and upgrade your old system to the modern day. Anyway, that's about it for this video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this one's been helpful to you guys. Don't forget, I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.